This video has been requested by sirens and stuff. This is how you get a raw audio from the controller to a computer. You can send it in MP3 format or whatever. The first thing you need to do is look at the manual here to see which two wires is your audio. In this case, for my Vortex VLC864, you see audio plus, audio negative, black with white stripe, and blue, and pins one and pin three are your audio. Verifying on a connector, you see the black with white stripe and the blue wire, that is your audio lines. You could tap into here, or you can tap in on a controller end. It doesn't matter exactly. Now it's important to make sure your controller is turned off until you are ready to start recording. Like right now it's not turned on. Battery switch is in the off position. So yeah, now go ahead and, now you go ahead and use whatever connector of choice you have. I like to use these um, Arduino pins right here. These are just like simple male to female connectors for Arduino. So go ahead and connect that up to the two audio pins, like so. And then we'll move on to the next step. The next thing you'll need is a potentiometer. Ideally, at least 10K. This one right here is a 100K. And what you're gonna do is you don't know how potentiometers work. These two pins are the two outer sides of the potentiometer, like a resistor. But if you use the center pin between one of these pins, it's like a center tap. So basically it goes from, from here to here, goes from zero all the way to 100K in this potentiometer. So what I, what I like to do is use it as a voltage divider. Simply use a breadboard or alligator clip leads to connect these wires to the two outer ends of the potentiometer. Like so. You can see white is on white and yellow is on orange. You can see they correlate with the potentiometer as I mentioned before. See the yellow is on one end and the white is on the other end. Now take the center tap of the potentiometer and route it to a headphone cable right here. It's 3.5 millimeter or whatever audio recording cable you have. Now simply plug this into your laptop or whatever audio recording device you have and make sure if you give it, you get a prompt set it to line in or mic in depending on your system or you can use the mic your microphone input cable as well now open up audacity or whatever sort of recording software you have on your computer simply just turn on the make sure these wires are definitely not shorting with anything because if you do short them it can cause problems i'm just going to let them sit right there for now actually i'm going to have some insulating we'll be right back make sure your potentiometer is somewhere in the middle turn on the bad turn on the controller Activate whatever signal you wish, and now hit record on Audacity, and you should start seeing some waveform. You can see that's perfect right there. And if I adjust the potentiometer, you can see it gets louder and quieter. And that is how you get raw audio. And here is the circuit in case you want to know. You can use this method on pretty much any Wayland controller that you have. Just don't use the output of the amplifiers. Use the input only.